Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Wednesday, August the 16th, and here are today's top headlines. Chaos on a Fontana golf course where a man is shot multiple times after a confrontation with police. We'll tell you what led to the gunfire. A terrifying scene in front of a local bank, a woman dragged by a suspect who grabbed her purse in broad daylight. Details coming up. Plus thunderstorms moving into Southern California where these big flashes were spotted this morning and what you can expect throughout the day. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. See those coming in? No. I saw them coming in uh, from the Santa Clarita Valley. I'm like, at first I was, I just saw a flash off to the side. I'm like, what was that? I know you always feel like, is it your like, brain? Yeah. Or is it like, yeah. I'm crazy. Mom's playing trick But I'm not insane. Because <laughs> I saw them multiple times on the way in. Anyway, good morning to you. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We'll check your roads of ginger coming up. First, let's talk about the weather. Uh, we're going to talk about it. Not only did I see it, I actually drove through one of them. Ooh. So, the rain? Right, or yep, this? through the rain. Wow. So I could see it off in the distance. Uh-huh. On the 91 freeway, heading uh, what would be uh, West. westbound, correct, between about the 5, so between about Anaheim to Commerce. Oh, the Orange County Line Yeah, right there? Orange okay. County Line right there. In fact, you could see quite a bit of oh. activity. So, Look at that. Yeah, you could see the with the lightning. And the, the lightning strikes that you see there on the, our Max Doppler, mm -hmm. those, those are real time. Those are actual lightning strikes that are being detected by the Doppler. So they're not just there because it looks good. So it kind of makes sense. Those uh, showers that I mentioned right there on the uh, 91 freeway and then heading up towards the 5, you could see that up and down the coast as well. We're also seeing some out in the desert areas, mountain communities so they are hit or miss we'll see a little bit of this throughout the morning hours and then we'll probably get a little bit of a pause on that and then as the day progresses and we get some sunshine and we get a little bit more lift in the atmosphere with some heating we will see some mm -hmm. afternoon thunderstorms once again but this is a little bit more active than what we had thought of yesterday yesterday we did have thunderstorms in the forecast for you today but we're off to an early of showers 87 and muggy and look at that 108 in the san fernando valley inland orange county 93 103 in the ie with chance of thunderstorms so it'll be one of those flowers We'll talk more throughout the morning. Right now, I'll send it back over to you. All these factors for you. A pursuit that I got caught up in, and now we have a pursuit that ended up with a crash. So because of that, we have a situation that is developing. I mean, they are hoping in the next 5, 10 minutes they may have this one wrapped up. But for now, uh, the end of a police pursuit, when it results in a crash, they can't clear it they got to investigate exactly what happened so the 101 it's both directions close to the connector to that 110 south okay so you can continue north if that's what you need to do you can continue south and then exit and then double back around to get yourself over to that 110 freeway but indeed this is the end of a police pursuit that was a crash too 405 south at about Mulholland maybe closer to Sepulveda either way they're talking about this wreck involving several cars and they're saying carpool lane or the yeah carpool lane is still blocked so far the drive is actually pretty good whether you're going north or south just watch out for uh, maybe like rain of course you may see some lightning in the distance and perhaps you'll get caught up in something else as well we'll watch those things i'll send it back to you guys did you thank you developing news authorities searching for a man seen on video dragging a woman by her arm and trying to steal her purse yeah it's the latest violent robbery in the la area within just a matter of days ktla 5's carlos herrera live from hacienda heights with the story carlos good morning Hey, good morning, Chris and Megan. And uh, this latest uh, violent robbery uh, leaving many people worried, concerned, and upset, wondering what exactly can be done to stop. 